Hey, what's going on? Luke here, and today we're going to be doing one of the most highly requested videos I've had on my channel, like literally in the history of my channel. My channel is 10 years old, and I don't think I've ever seen any more comments that I have that have said, Hey Luke, can you please play with a team of halfbacks? Now, I've played with fullbacks, I've played with wingers, I've played with centers, I've played with the 5'8s, and as we've gone through, I think I've noticed that the fullback side is definitely the best one. But throughout the whole time I was playing with all the other sides, I was like, yeah, these are good, but wait till I play with the halfback side. Let me tell you, I've gone through and I've made the halfback side, and it's not as overpowered as what I thought it was going to be. I feel like I've just discovered the lack of halfbacks in the NRL. At least quality ones. Because you always know there's good ones like your Jerome Hughes, Nathan Cleary, Adam Reynolds. Like even like guys like Ben Hunt, Cherry Evans. You look at them and you go, oh yeah, there's heaps of good halfbacks in the comp. But when you start getting down to some of the other sides, you're like, alright, maybe not. It's especially evident when you have to come up with a team of 17. 10 or so, that's good. But once you need another 7, that's where you start to struggle a little bit. Anyways, we're about to jump on Rubble League Life 4 and play with this side. But before we do so, I just want to take the time to say if you happen to enjoy this video, make sure you go ahead and leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. Also, make sure to use the notification bell. Don't rely on the sub boxes. Don't rely on the suggested videos. Use the notification bell and never miss any of my videos. Also, we had it. Go ahead and give me a follow on social media. It's on the screen right now. It's Mr. Luke YT for the most part. My Facebook is Mr. Luke, but everything else, including Snapchat, including TikTok, is Mr. Luke and YT. Go ahead and give me a follow, give me an ad, do all that sort of stuff. Also, go ahead and cop some of the merch. You can see a design on the screen right now. There's a link in the description below if you happen to enjoy that design. Maybe go check out the others and maybe cop some of your own. Also, I need to give a special mention to the sponsor of this video, Manscaped. Who is the best in men's blow the waist? Grooming champions of the world. Manscaped offers precision engineered tools for your family jewels. Manscaped just launched their fourth generation trimmer, the Lawnmower 4.0, all across Australia and New Zealand. You heard that right, the 4.0. Join over 2 million men worldwide who trust Manscaped with this exclusive offer for you. 20% off and free worldwide shipping with the code MrLuke at Manscaped.com. Now, I've been on the lookout for a new razor to use, and honestly, I never used an electric one because, well, I can't really grow a beard, so I've never really had a reason to have one, but I do need something for the other areas, but I wasn't sure about using an electric trimmer. But let me tell you, the Lawnmower 4.0 works. It's as simple as that, and I'm a bit of a rookie in this field. I've been in the Rookie of the Year calculations for the Dallium's rather than the actual Dallium metal itself, at least in terms of this sort of stuff. But thanks to the advanced skin safe technology, which reduces grooming injuries, my nether regions are as safe as Nathan Cleary kicking a conversion from the sideline. The Lawnmower 4.0 charges wirelessly, is waterproof, so you can use it in the shower, and even has a couple different lengths you can cut to. So I might even have to try it on my actual hair, seeing as I can't get to the hairdressers. Actually, since filming this, I actually did get a haircut, and I'll be honest, I didn't actually use Manscaped. But let's just imagine I did. Let's not ruin the story. Let's just go with it. Fellas, it's time to make trimming your time and not a chore. Make me time the best time and go ahead and try the Lawnmower 4.0. Like I said earlier, I have a discount code which is Mr. Luke, which can be used at manscaped.com. The link is in the description below as well as the discount code. Guys, can't stress this enough. Support the people who support me, and more importantly, support Manscaped. Alrighty, you can see we are on Rub League Life 4 at the moment. We're going to be taking on the Paramount Eels. I don't really know why I picked Para, but we're just going with Paramount. They have a pretty decent side. I didn't want to pick an easy beat, because I feel like this still is a very, very good side. Uh, we'll chuck in... Uh, let's just go ANZ Stadium, whatever. But let's look at the lineups. Jerome Hughes is the fullback. Luke Brooks and Mitchell Moses are the wingers for this side. Mitchell Moses obviously in this Parramatta side, but Jerome Hughes, I felt like he was the natural one because he's someone who actually has played fullback and transitioned from fullback into the halfback position, whereas a lot of fullbacks they end up moving into the flyout position or center or something. But Jerome Hughes has been one of the few who's actually gone into the halfback position. So, and actually really successfully, I will say. So Jerome Hughes is the fullback. The reason I went for Brooks and Moses on the wings is just purely because of speed. Same way as Sean Johnson and Avrilo. Avrilo has played a little bit of center for the Bulldogs. Sean Johnson's never played center, but at the same time, he's one of the quicker little nippy guys, and he's got a great step on him, so he should be quite effective in the centers. Then you got Adam Reynolds and Sam Walker. I picked Sam Walker at 5'8", because I wanted these guys... Like, basically, my thought process for Adam Reynolds is he's the most traditional halfback, I guess. You could have had guys like Nathan Cleary, Cherry Evans, even like a Mitchell Pierce or someone who probably are better halfbacks, but Adam Reynolds is just like an out-and-out -out halfback. I can't imagine him playing in the prop position or playing in the backs. He's just a guy who's got a great kicking game and just directs teams around. Whereas other guys, they either got a bit of size to them or they just have something else in their game. As to why I've got Adam Reynolds in the halfback position. Sam Walker, I picked him there because, like I said, I can't imagine him playing any other positions. Maybe like on the wing or something, but... 5'8", like he's a pretty good ball player. Um, he's actually a pretty decent halfback, but his defense is lacking. So, flag fly position, we can chuck him in there. Um, we can sort of protect him a little bit, hopefully. Uh, but yeah, Sammy Walker is the 5'8". Nathan Cleary is the standard of this side. He's the best player. We have him in the proposition because I feel like 
He just got that little bit of size to him. Also, he's got the ball playing skills, so that should be quite effective. He's somewhat quick. He's not, he's not like super quick, but he's not slow. Uh, and like I said, he's a decent tackler. So that's mainly what I've gone for here. Got for Cherry Evans and Nathan Curry. Two guys who are quite good in defense. So that's the reason they're on the propositions. Ben Hunt is a guy who's played a lot of hooker. You can argue Ben Hunt is a better hooker than he is a halfback. So that's the reason he's in the hooker position. Mitchell Pearce and Townsend. Two guys who, as well, are pretty decent defenders. Mitchell Pearce in particular. Chad Townsend. He's had some ups and downs, obviously a premiership winner. This is what I mean by you start to get to the back end of these halfbacks and you go, you go from having guys like Nathan Cleary and Cherry Evans and guys who are absolutely elite, then all of a sudden there's a major drop off. So Chad Townsend is sort of borderline that drop off. Um, I've got him in the second row just because I feel like he can tackle decently. Ash Taylor at lock, decent little ball player. It more came down to, I don't really know who I chuck in at lock and... I don't know, Fogarty, Williams, Croft, Flanagan. Like, who do you really chuck in there? At least Ash Taylor's had some great seasons in the past. Um, so that's the reason he's in the lock position. Just in the middle, pretty much to do a little bit of tackling. And we're just rotating with maybe George Williams or someone. I could have chucked George Williams there. I feel like he's actually better than a lot of these players. But I've got him on the bench purely because he's back in the Super League. But so there, Fogarty, Williams, Croft, and Flanagan. Adam Clued missed the cut, but that is the side. Like I said, we're taking on Parramatta, who have Mitchell Moses as a halfback. Even Dylan Brown is quite good. So... This is going to be a tough matchup, but I think we can get the job done. Now, as of late, I've been playing on Legend difficulty, but we're going to be playing on Veteran for this one. Seven minute halves. Let's just jump in and let's get this win. All right, here we go. Team of Halfbacks up against the Parramatta Eels. I think it'd be real interesting to see how these teams actually went in the NRL. And, you know, maybe they win a premiership, maybe they wouldn't. But here is the Parramatta Eels side. I think this might have been from my career mode where I had the strongest possible side. So... We'll see here, Isaiah Papali'i, great player, just rejected a contract with the Eels though. So it is quite interesting, this Eels scenario, because they have a lot of players of contract. So I don't know who's going to be there next year, or sorry, not next year, but the year after. But here is our side, Adam Reynolds making the move to the Broncos. He is the captain of the side. You've got Nathan Cleary, Ben Hunt, Daly Cherry Evans. Hell of a side. Also, I will say the jerseys. I really rate these jerseys. The green and black with the white. It always looks nice. But you've got Luke Brooks on the screen right now. I was thinking of taking on the Tigers purely for Luke Brooks. I thought it would be quite funny, but... I'm just glad I have Luke Brooks in the side on the wing. He's a speedster. Might be able to score a couple of tries up the wing. So Adam Reynolds to get the game underway. You've got Jerome Hughes on screen as well. Whenever you've got a guy with headgear at fullback, you know they're going to be pretty decent. And he is definitely decent. That's not a good start to the game, though. That is not decent. Oh, we get stepped. That is two tackles in a row where we've been either shoulder barged or stepped. So that's not good. That is not good. And right through the middle there. Thank you. Making the tackle is Nathan Cleary. I would expect you to make that tackle. That's a Nathan Cleary tackle. Luke Brooks with the kick return. What's he going to... Okay, he does nothing. Here we go. Ash Taylor. Ash Taylor. Got a little bit of support there. Pass it. There we go. Oh, my God. Another pass. Go on, Adam Reynolds. Pass it again. High tackle. Scumbags. I knew we were going to score. We are definitely going to score. I think it was Wong and Blake. Just hits us with a swinging arm. Do I take a shot at two? Nah, we're not going to take a shot. We're going to score a try. I honestly feel like my best chance of scoring is to get the ball to Sean Johnson on the left-hand side. Here we go. This is exactly what I mean. Oh, no. I meant my chance of scoring, not the Eels' chance of scoring. I don't know how they intercepted that, though. It seemed very random. I feel like that's just a pretty straightforward pass. Instead, they just break through another tackle. Just proves that Haas cannot defend. Breaking tackles left, right, and center are the Eels. Kick pressure, kick pressure, kick pressure, kick pressure. Offside! Get that up, you Eels! Sammy Walker. Oh, I thought that was going to be forward. That had me worried there for a second. Jerome, Jerome, Jerome. Oh, there was so much space there. How do we have so many ball plays and I still can't get a pass away? Oh, into a gap, into a gap. Mitchell, Pierce. Go on, PC. Put the foot down. Go on, PC. Probably hasn't got the legs. He does. Guts and dives. Oh, my God. We're going to get tackled. Get over the line. Get over the line. Oh, he's on his back. So close to what PC was over. Surprisingly, had a lot of pace. It's fourth tackle. I was about to kick it. It does the same animation as the fifth tackle and it really puts you off. That is a big hit, though. We're going to head to the left. There's a lot of space. Boys, out the wing. Go back through the middle. Oh, and there's the intercept. That's a shit play. Over the sideline. Where you going, Moses? Sorry. Parramatta's Moses. Where you going, brother? All right, I'm going to hit. Oh, no, 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 no. It was not meant to go to him. Oh, big hit. And he spills the ball. Of course he does. This halfback side is rake. What are they doing there? A little bit of ball playing of themselves, para. How did I not intercept that? I was right there. There we go. Get the ball. Okay, do not let them run. Thank you. Rub up, Papa Lee. There we go. Oh, here we go. Mitchell Pierce got some support. Let's just take on Gutherson. Hopefully he dives early again. Come on. Got a little bit of support there. And we palm off a player as well. Wasn't even trying to do it. Mitchell Pierce has easily been the MVP so far. We're going to hit Jake Avrilo here. Come on, Avrilo. Avrilo. 
Oh no, I was over! I was literally over! We just teleported through him and I saw through the pass, just from instinct. Oh no. And we dropped the ball again! Stop dropping the ball, you bunch of bums! Oh, big it! Nathan Cleary drops him! Thank you, Nate. Pressure, 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 pressure. That's very deep, though. Very deep. Again. Oh, sort of. Get the ball. Go on, mate. Go on, my Adam Reynolds. Thank you very much. We get the ball. That was super risky, but it's actually kind of worked out. We're on with Avarillo here. Avarillo. Go on, mate. There we go. No drop balls from him. Get the pass away. Get the pass away. Get the pass away. Get the pass away. Just over Sevo, please. I thought he's Mitchell Moses. Surely Sevo just sees Moses and said, yeah, he's my brother. He's my teammate. And just lets him over. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, there's no, literal no fitness for bloody... Oh, there we go! Go on, mate! Go on, mate! Piercy again! The MVP... Oh, we can't score for half time. Just trying to say that Jerome Hughes has no fitness, and they made a line break, and I was like, what do I do? Instead, we just intercept the ball. Should have ran away, but instead I was stepping at nobody. I was stepping at the ghost. It's nearly like a half time. Who would have thought this? Not me. I thought I would at least got a couple of tries, or at least conceded a couple of tries. Just something. Hopefully, we're going to have a good start to the second half. Hopefully, an early try. That would be nice. That'd be real nice. George Williams into a gap. Have a real low. Take him on. Take him on, brother. He just doesn't have the speed, does he? Get Sebo coming across. I suppose he is a fullback. We do have someone there. Well, I couldn't sucker him in. Go on. Oh my god, why are they so far behind? He's an absolute speedster. What is happening? They're going to drop the ball, aren't they? As soon as we get close to the line, they just die with it. Pick it up. Go. Oh my. Oh my god. This game. I didn't. There's nothing I could do there. I did nothing wrong and it's still through a four pass. They're so kicking early here. They're so kicking early. Charge it. Oh, okay. We've actually gone onto it. That's a 40 20, isn't it? That's like literally the best kick you could ever do. Probably the best kick Mission Moses has ever done. The absolute nail that we're going to concede here, for sure. How's that? Up the other end, we probably should have scored and said we're going to concede after a b Pick it up! Pick it up! Pick it up, please! Come on, please. Hold him up. Hold him up. Hold him up. We actually held him up. Oh my god, fourth tackle. Are we going to survive? No, we're not. No, we're not. I'm getting too confident. I'm getting too confident. And he brushes the tackle. Gets to the line. Mitchell Moses, the halfback for the Eels. Brushes off a player. I can't brush off a player. I've got a whole team of halfbacks. Just to rub insult into injury. Well, there's no injury, but there is a try scored. It's 6-0 to Parramatta. Mitch Moses kicks the goal. I've got a team full of halfbacks, and the opposition halfback has beat me 6-0. This is ridiculous. You know times are tough when I have to take off Nathan Clare and put Brody Croft on. I don't want to take Cleary off. He's been our best player. Actually, that's a lie. Mitchell Pierce has been our best player by far. Going for another 40-20. You cheeky dog. There you go. Get that up here. That's a shit kick. Sucked in. Go on, go on, Georgie Williams, you Englishman, you English beauty, go on, offload it. Oh my god, ah, I thought we could have scored. Time for the line, oh my god, Luke Brooks, the in and out, gets over. Holy shit, what a try. That was a terrible try. And like, realistically, they should have tackled me, but I just swerved a little bit and we're straight over. Is that Ferguson just clutching the air? Alrighty, Adam Reynolds is kicking, and that's because we have Nathan Cleary off. I feel like Nathan Cleary is the better kicker of the two, but it doesn't matter. Straight over, six or Get that up, your power. We're coming back. Sorry, did he just nearly... What the hell? Go on, mate. Go on, mate. There's oh, half a line break there. Mitchell Moses. Our Mitchell Moses. If that was the Parramatta one, brushes off plays and said ours gets tackled. Oh, here we go. Go, go. Fogarty. Fogarty's on a fullback because bloody Hughes is tired as. Might have to get Jerome Hughes back on, though. He's one of our better players. Can we kick a 40-20? Okay, the wind's not going our way, but that's still a decent kick. Get the bounce. Get the bounce. The bounce is going our way. Adam Reynolds kicks the 40-20. Let's go. Oh, this is real nice. 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 Oh, my God. Avarillo gets tackled. Why was that so slow? He should have hit the gap with pace. Oh, Brody Croft. They don't! They come out early on Brody Croft! He gets to the line! Let's go! Come on, Brody Croft, though. You've been the one. I'll take it either way, but still. There we go. Ball's down. Brody Croft scores. I can't believe that. Out of all the plays in this side, Brody Croft, who's come on for Nathan Cleary, scores. I suppose he's a little bit of a spacer, to be honest. That's one of his strengths. Probably one of the only strengths, if we're being honest. But Brody Croft scores the try. So we've just got the lead. We're about to add to it. Adam Reynolds kicks the goal. It's not quite from the sideline like the previous one, but it's still the same result. A goal is kicked, and it's 12-6. Oh, here we go. Cole Flanagan. Why is it all these guys? You're Brody Croft's Cole Flanagans. Why are they doing some damage? Oh, did not mean to throw that pass. I just did instinct, and Sammy Walker is away. Samuel, oh, through the pass. I didn't need to throw a pass. Mitchell Pierce deserves a try. Get to the light, PC. There we go. We have just wrapped up the game. This half side has come home strong in the second half. Mitchell Pierce scores the try. Adam Reynolds kicks the goal. And we have a 12 point lead. Let's go. 
Oh no, oh no, why do I do this all the time? That's a try, that is a try. He's got to the line. I don't know if he actually got to the line, but they're gonna give it a try. I just scored a try, now I've conceded a try in the space of about 20 seconds. Here I am talking about wrapping up the game and having a 12 point lead. All of a sudden, the 12 point lead is a six point lead, purely because I'm too scared to take a hit up from the kickoff. I just gotta say, I'm so glad I'm playing on Vesha difficulty, because I feel like Legend, they would've just been breaking every single tackle. Oh, four pass, there we go, that's the game wrapped up. I'm really gonna score here for sure. Oh, they're into a- Oh my god, Pierce is over! He's got a double Mitchell Pierce! What rating is he? Is he like 90 rated? Surely not. Surely not. Mitchell Pierce, 86! He's literally playing like a 95 rated player. He is killing this hillside. So he just got our lead back. Adam Reynolds is not going to be missing this one. And that's a 12 point lead again. Should have been 18, but oh, whatever. It doesn't matter. Go on, Brady Croft again. Making the line break. Brady Croft, Carl Flanagan, Mitchell Pierce. All the unlikely heroes in this one. Go, 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 Brody Croft again! Making another line break, go on Brody! Ah, I couldn't score another try, but that's okay. We end up winning the game very convincingly in the end. Considering it was nil at half time, the fact that there were so many points scored in the second half, I think it's a really entertaining game actually, but we picked up victory with the halfback side. Let me know in the comment section below, did you enjoy the halfback side? Who's the team you want to see next? Because I think we're going to be playing as a props next time. Anyways, that's where I'm going to wrap up this video. Hopefully you did enjoy it. If you did, make sure you go ahead and smash the like button and subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. Also make sure to use the notification bell. Don't rely on the sub boxes. Don't rely on the suggested videos. Use the notification bell and never miss any of my videos. Also, I go ahead and give me a follow on social media. It's on the screen right now. It's Mr. Luke and YT for the most part. My Facebook is Mr. Luke, but everything else, including Snapchat, including TikTok, is Mr. Luke and YT. So go ahead and give me a follow, give me an ad. Also, go ahead and cop some of the merch. There is the design on the screen right now. If you think this one looks pretty decent, go and check out the rest of them. There is a link in the description below. Also, I need to mention the sponsor of this video once again, Manscaped. Thank you very much for coming on board the channel. Manscaped has some absolutely amazing products, especially the Law Mile 4.0. Go ahead and get it. I have a discount code. It's Mr. Luke. You get 20 percent off and free shipping worldwide so like i said go ahead and pick up one of their kits or pick up the law mile 4.0 pick up something and use my code mr luke trust me your balls will thank you and i'll also thank you as well for using my code anyways it's time to wrap up this video thanks for watching guys stay tuned for more content on the channel and i'll see you on the next one see yous